Let's pray before we begin. Lord, please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your son. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Real quick, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Thank you. Chapter 55 Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ear, and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and commander to the people. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God and for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. For ye shall go out with joy, and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Matthew Henry Commentary on Isaiah chapter 55, verses 1 to 5. All are welcome to the blessings of salvation, to whom those blessings are welcome. In Christ there is enough for all and enough for each. Those satisfied with the world that see no need of Christ do not thirst. They are in no uneasiness about their souls. But where God gives grace, he gives a thirst after it. And where he has given a thirst after it, he will give it. Come to Christ, for he is the fountain opened, he is the rock smitten. Come to holy ordinances, to the streams that make glad the city of our God. Come to the healing waters. Come to the living waters. Revelation 22 verse 17. Our Saviour referred to this. John 7 verse 37. Come and buy. Make it your own by application of the grace of the gospel to yourselves. Come and eat. Make it still more your own and enjoy it. The world comes short of our expectations. We promise ourselves at least water in it and we are disappointed. But Christ outdoes our expectations. We come to him, and we find wine and milk. The gifts offered to us are such as no price can be set upon. The things offered are already paid for, for Christ purchased them at the full price of, 1 Peter 1 verse 19, have nothing to supply them. If Christ and heaven are ours, we see ourselves forever indebted to free grace. Hearken diligently, let the proud heart stoop, not only come, but accept God's offers. All the wealth and pleasure in the world will not yield solid comfort and content to the soul. They do not satisfy even the appetites of the body, for all is vanity and vexation. Let the disappointments we meet with in the world help to drive us to Christ and to seek for satisfaction in Him only. Then, and not before, we shall find rest for our souls. Here, and your soul shall live. On what easy terms is happiness offered us? By the sure mercies of David, we are to understand the Messiah. All his mercies are covenant mercies. They are purchased by him, they are promised in him, and out of his hand they are dispensed to us. We know not how to find the way to the waters, 
But Christ is given to be a leader, a commander, to show us what to do and enable us to do it. Our business is to obey him and follow him. And there is no coming to the Father but by him. He is the Holy One of Israel, true to his promises, and he has promised to glorify Christ by giving him the heathen for his inheritance. Verses 6 to 13. Here is a gracious offer of pardon and peace and of all happiness. It shall not be in vain to seek God, now his word is calling to us, and his spirit is striving with us. But there is a day coming when he will not be found. There may come such a time in this life. It is certain that at death and judgment the door will be shut. There must be not only a change of the way, but a change of the mind. We must alter our judgments about persons and things. It is not enough to break off from evil practices. We must strive against evil thoughts. To repent is to return to our Lord, against whom we have rebelled. If we do so, God will multiply to pardon, as we have multiplied to offend. But let none trifle with this plenteous mercy, or use it as an occasion to sin. Men's thoughts concerning sin, Christ and holiness, concerning this world and the other, vastly differ from God's. But in nothing more than in the matter of pardon. We forgive and cannot forget. But when God forgives sin, he remembers it no more. The power of his word in the kingdoms of providence and grace is as certain as in that of nature. Sacred truth produces a spiritual change in the mind of men, which neither rain nor snow can make on the earth. It shall not return to the Lord without producing important effects. If we take a special view of the church, we shall find what great things God has done and will do for it. The Jews shall come to their own land. This shall represent the blessings promised. Gospel grace will make a great change in men. Delivered from the wrath to come, the converted sinner finds peace in his conscience, and love constrains him to devote himself to the service of his Redeemer. Instead of being profane, contentious, selfish, or sensual, behold him patient, humble, kind, and peaceable. The hope of helping in such a work should urge you to spread the gospel of Salvation. And do thou help us, O Spirit of all truth, to have such views of the fullness, freeness, and greatness of the rich mercy in Christ as may remove from us all narrow views of sovereign grace. Please consider, how does this chapter apply to you? Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day.